Day two of the IPI Congress was full of events, but all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, so naturally a dinner gala and award ceremony took place, hosted by the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed. I wish to formally welcome to Nigeria our media friends from around the world under the auspices of the International Press Institute. May I also thank the IPI for the confidence reposed in Nigeria by giving us the hosting right for this 67th World Congress. Well, we made a bid for this event at the IPI World Congress in Doha, Qatar, in 2016. IPI did not for once doubt our ability and suitability. By granting us the right, you affirmed your belief in us. One highlight was the award for Free Media Pioneer received by managing editor and co-founder Glenda Gloria on behalf of Rappler, who's been in a serious battle against the president of Philippines, who's been relentless trying to suppress their free press. So we cannot be more thankful for this award tonight, which belongs not just to Rappler and Filipino journalists, but also to everyone all over the world who has continued to do good journalism despite being harassed, despite getting jailed, and despite their work getting hijacked by algorithms. The Free Media Pioneer Award becomes more meaningful because it recognizes not just Rappler's commitment to independence, but also celebrates our innovative approach to journalism. While I can speak now, that's now. We don't know what will happen in a few weeks, a few months, a few years. Before I am a journalist, I am also a Filipino. I care about what, ha what is happening in my country. That's a large part of my being a journalist. Kaya, when people ask, bakit puro yung negative, but hindi naman yung positive? Precisely that, because that's why you want us to do our jobs to begin with, to protect you against abuse by the people who have power over your lives. Otherwise, the other word for it is propaganda. It's just simply trying to wear us down. Malas malas nilo ni Duterte, abay panahon ni Marcos, hindi nga natinag ang media ngayon pa sa'yo. Am I afraid? All the time. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be in this job. <laughs> Only a stupid person would be, would be a reporter and not be afraid. Oh, so yes, be afraid. Be very afraid. But do the job. However, Nobel Prize laureate Professor Wally Shoinka still denied with his authentic personality and determination to continue to speak the truths he has witnessed over decades. How, you know, what inspires you to write good, good books, how you're able to gather all this information and write, you know, many books. I think it's impossible to live in a tumultuous nation like this and not be inspired or provoked into writing, because <laughs> those, two, those two words are sometimes interchangeable. Uh, they're, they're just the gamut of life in Nigeria. Nigeria is a wild place. You know, it's an impossible country. It, it, and, and I think it's trying to make sense of it. And at the same time being totally overwhelmed by the richness which exists in it, the contradictions, in it, the, uh, the heroism which one encounters at the same time as the villainy side by side. Uh, I think all of that just inspires one to, or provokes one, uh, to write. But my answer to would-be writers is simply this. Just write. Write and be prepared to collect your rejection slips from publishers. <laughs> And when you collect them, you open the drawer, shove your slips inside there, and continue writing. And believe it, sooner or later, you will get something published. He said a few words concerning President Mohamed Buhari, but warned the media that it was nothing of an endorsement for him at all. You see, it just shows that all is not lost in this nation. If it's possible to transform a dictator, a military dictator, who says, I intend to tamper with the press of freedom. And uh, not all that long, within one generation, 
as an individual is presiding over a democratic nation and trying to live up to the principles of democracy, I think there is hope yet for this nation. I'm pretty <clears throat> Now, tomorrow, I don't want to read in the papers that Wale Shenka has just given his support for this. I don't want, don't let me hear that. I'm merely pointing out an example of the reformability of humanity when everything else seems lost. After that, there was no better way to end the night than with food and some patriotic cultural performances. For like Edisbeth or Rise News. <laughs>